So I know when I went into this match, 90% of what I was trying to do was just walk him to the corner and then keep him there. Just frame trap the hell out of him, stay at a good distance, like don't overcommit. He starts going in, just try to get under, like just try to get around him. Because every time he did the that jumping CD with Kula and I'd approach him, he would smoke me. So I had to mix it up. He smoked the hell out of me with Kula last tournament. I thought that that was going to be the first pick, so I had to put Benny on point. I knew I had to throw Benny up front because I needed Alice DP for Mary. Like, if I didn't have Alice for Mary, I was going to lose. I like that right there. See? Oh. Yeah. Uh, so, it's it, Stan B would have been better, and it probably would have been a tight frame And if he did two crush B into Stan B, then fireball, if you press the button, you probably would have got hit by that ice breath. Gotcha. See, he was much more patient against me on this than he was Kevzor. Like, he wasn't getting hit by the step kick. Damn it, Kevzor. You took half my conditioning. There are some times, though, when I was fighting him against his Mai that I realized, like, I needed to roll out. Even though I had a sliver of health, I figured that I would play his mental. Like, I only have a little bit of health left. I dropped that so hard. I tried to go into super. Yeah. Rip. And I just, I just was like, I need to stay out of his range of getting grabbed. Right? I think he's gonna trip you when you, when you whiff the, the slash. Yeah. The grip watch. Right here. He could have tripped you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, took I got off. away with murder. I got away with murder there. I whiffed the worst thing I could whiff with Benny. Nice. I think he caught on to me trying to run under because that's what I was trying to do there. Oh, he drops that. That was, that, that was a one too many that I was talking about. I know Barge knows a little bit better because, like, you, you got him the first time. You got to you gotta start mixing the things up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he doesn't want to get hit by five times. Bro. He's going to make himself look a little fool, so he's probably going to be looking for that. Yeah, but I figured if I put Benny shenanigans, like, right up front, and then I started introducing Alice shenanigans the next game, I would be in a much better spot. Yeah, <clears throat> I agree. In this game against him i didn't want to have to uh approach after his circle kick i was like i'm just gonna give him this like i don't want to have to deal with that i tried to probably roll there or like guard cancel or something i think he's probably negative one or, or zero or something like that but then like he could dp that so yeah so that's why i'm not trying to mess with it you know yeah you don't need to you don't always need to contest it i tried to predict his role there I like how he's being more patient. I wish he kind of did like. I think like a good matchup will probably be Robert versus Benny, to be honest. Yeah. But I think he had a, a game plan with Kula, and I guess didn't really um, work out on his end right there. Yeah. No, he smoked the hell out of me with Kula last time we played. I think uh, that's why. Like, when when it was uh, two two or almost two two, I think it was three one, or I was at least like the shit ain't gonna be free losers finals last time. Yeah. I, I like party white's patience right there. Yeah, I would have just stand B instead because like that Koshri doesn't reach stand B could have been a different story. Just like getting you to block and see how you react from there. Like what it would instead like he got a trip earlier um into the max mode. Yeah, I, he definitely went, um, got the crouch beats instead. It could have yeah right there. Mm, he pre yeah, that makes sense. Damn, you got that fucking crouch beat on my fucking turbo or what? So that, no, so that was. Uh, crouch B. Oh shit! I need to crouch B again at max, but I only had room for one. Uh. So that would have been crouch B, crouch B, crouch B, uh, or max into crouch B Rekka, because I was at max range. Just inch. Uh, yeah, there I was just like, let me inch him down. Let me see if I can get him in the corner. Let me keep him in the corner. I got five bars. No, it's my turn. Let's see, not do something. He's not going to DP. All right, he might do something here. Uh, that C, by the way, I tried to hit below back. This is another thing that I've been realizing is a problem. If you guys uh, at home are beginners and are trying to figure out why the fuck some of your moves aren't coming out, if you are crouching and you hit below back, uh, you sometimes, and I mean most of the time, will get a crouching C or a crouching D instead. And that happens to me a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh. And he has this whole mini game where he'll like DP after, or he'll do um, like a back dash. Or... It might be different if he hits you from the last kick max distance. It is. It is. 
but he'll he'll 90 percent of the time cover it with something so i was like that's not a hole i'm gonna go for at all uh here in the sylvie matchup my preparation was uh if he's going to build meter i can equally build meter um and if he's committing full screen i'm safe to do this so i just kind of like waited and tried to go for my meter advantage i got yeah that was a little crazy <laughs> And here, I think I fucked up my meter advantage somehow. Like, my game plan was working. I ended up in the corner, but before the jump. So right there, well, pretty much he did, like, crouch B to crouch D. Yeah. I wish he didn't do the crouch D, because, like, that's... That could have convert. That could have been something else to apply pressure with. It could have been, like, crouch B, run, crouch B, max distance at the end, or something like that, you know? Yeah. Applying a different way of pressure. Yeah, no, he he definitely had a little bit more opportunity to punish that, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I like how he was like meeting you air to air and all that, so like jump back there. I think that was pretty much he hanged himself right from it quickly. Yeah, I can't believe I did that, dude. I just wanted shoulder. I didn't want sluver. I think that was one of those heat of the moment things, like oh maybe it'll kill, maybe it won't. Yeah, but there yeah. again, I was just selecting to build meter. Like, when he wants to start running is when I'll start being able to find my holes. If I approach him while he's doing that, I'm just going to get smoked over and over and over again. See, I think that just, like, yeah. worked oh, there for shit. him, but you just mistimed your stuff. Party Barge has been really pressing buttons on your block strings a lot. And yeah. And that's why he was, like what Marco said, that's why he was like getting bopped in the frame traps with Benny. Yeah. I think like, since Party Barge likes to go for that, um, you know, that jumping command grab more. Yeah. I think he needs to like, um, apply pressure where he keeps you grounded with his normals. Like, you know, double hop, CD, then to crouch B, stagger, crouch B. Like finding ways to stagger his normal pressure game first before he starts going a little crazy. That will actually like, I think or maybe will enhance his um not enhance or increase his percentage chances chances to actually land that jump grab you know what i'm saying so here uh i remember this is the scenario that you were talking about the other day about if the opponent will guard cancel roll out then i have perfect time to run up and command throw mm -hmm. um i have done this a lot before in this specific scenario with party and nine times out of ten i'll miss the timing of it because it's online and he'll get either a dp or he'll get a full punish off of it so instead i elected for a spacing thing that's all, that's, that's all i did and i figured i'd be able to get him i missed the whiff punish but it ended up working out he wasn't punishing me for rolling the same way i just stuck mm -hmm. with the same strat but then i finally got clipped but either way, like I feel like um, if you can't do it online, it's, it can be risky, especially against characters like Robert. Because if you're not check, catching him on that frame, that means a DP will freaking bop you. Yeah, and and I I just can't do it online yet. I need to practice more. I think yeah. is all. But I I think I'll be able to get it no problem with a little bit more experience. Yeah, and I don't remember what my plan was against Robert, other than just I'm gonna try to guard cancel roll if he makes a guard cancel roll. I think the only reason I approached him like this is because I. Thought I needed to do something. Yeah. Catches you right there. Yeah, you pretty much got impatient and he and you hanged yourself. Party Barge played that matchup right. He was um he was definitely like frustrating you. Um definitely like not letting you get in. And it was just like good stuff overall. And I like that super at the end. I was not ready for that. I was like, ah man, when that happened, I gave that whole esports nod, like, yep, okay, next match. I don't think it's much else. Had bit. Like, I yeah. think like, if he slowed down and just like look for these things like okay i'm gonna chill here and look for this jump or wait for a jump or try to bait this jump and i think that would just pretty much like make his neutral game a little bit better yeah i honestly expect a really good fight between me and party next time i don't think it's gonna be uh three one i think it's gonna Ooh, be a lot more <laughs> yeah, i think so too but like i said like it just was a call I, it's just the way how party bar just feel those that's the way how i see it sometimes <laughs> yeah well, I, yeah, I understand that. Like, there, right? He was doing a really good job of stopping me. I don't know. I hope I rolled backwards, not forwards. Yeah, right there. He knocked me out of the air several times. And he does it again, too. He stops me from wanting to jump. Yep. And then it was just unfortunate. I got the combo, and then it didn't true combo, and he was trying to either wiggle out or throw me or something. 
That's why we need to teach him those option selects because that would have been a grab right there. Yeah. No, I think he knows it. Close like he's he's grabbed me a lot out of that. I think it's just an online and nerves thing there. All that good stuff. That was a great grab out of that. I think he could have killed me though. I I still can't do that super thing. Oh man, I read that. I felt so proud of myself, but I felt so bad I didn't pump into super. I I kind of knew that party boss was gonna go for that, and then that was a good roll from your end to do like to get out of there. Yeah, that's where like um where party boss needs to implement like a certain game plan where like you know how we're talking about that spacing where. You do a hop D, hop CD or something. Yeah, I mean, Blue Mary can hop CD there, and then if she wants, she can re-hop CD, or she can just crouch B and oh. then get a punish. Oh, I'm so glad he didn't punish me there. That was definitely missed input, I'm sure. Yeah. But I think like, it knocked you down, so I, I guess when he saw it hit, he just opted in. Man, I need, to, I need to respect his wake-up game when I'm throwing Oki on him. If I'm no. throwing Oki on him like that, he's he's probably going to try to get out. He does that to me all the time. I was like, fuck, I knew better. Why did I keep doing that? <laughs> right? It. You're like, ah, shit. <laughs> I got smoke. Ooh, the boot. Double boot. Got to try to go for triple boot. Yeah. I, I kept telling myself every time I got hit by it that that was the button that was going to change the pace of the match. And every time I got hit, it literally changed the pace of the match. Mm -hmm. So I know I knew that that was an integral part of his game plan. Not necessarily yeah. that um, he was going to do it so much, but that he was going to be whiffing it in certain spots. I think another thing what Party Barge needs to do too, like when he puts you in the corner, I think he needs to like implement some overheads right there. Because I, I saw a few times where he could have kept you in a block shingle from the overhead. Yeah. And, and stand B and all that good stuff. He was doing good until I think at the end, like he just, he just fucked up and you got your way with him. You, you played, you played well and you were capitalizing on, on Bard just being a little bit more impatient. I think Bard should have definitely like risked a few DPs here and there. I mean, like he, he tried to like clap back, right? And then like he, he, you were hitting him on like meaty. Yeah. Um, and, and here too, um, remember how I said I wasn't trying to fight back on those spots? He kept yeah. like back dashing every time, and I thought he would think he was safe, like, and he would approach. But he still went for the defensive option that I thought he was gonna do. Oh wow, did I slow it down. My bad. It's all good. But that's one thing I've seen a lot of Robert players do is they'll I do that. I think the reason why he'll do it because like if if he expected you to know that he'll do a crouch B, then you're gonna he's gonna you're gonna throw a DP, you know. So that's why he had it. I think in his mind he wanted to respect that situation. Right. Oh yeah, I took a lot of risks here. Mm -hmm. This was the matchup I was most afraid of when he put Robert on point. Because Robert, when he has nothing to lose, is willing to be a lot more risky just like that. But I feel like Alice is still really good. I don't think it's honestly like that bad for Alice because once she gets in, like I think she she could really fucking do mad damage like right but one of one of my biggest problems is i don't stay in and i don't try to stay on people so that was what i was trying to do this whole tournament was just how do i stay on this person like glue yeah so like my my best like suggestions like if you want to stick to them like white on rice stick into like you know like legs reach on or max distance reach on certain things or like it could be like or um, what's the call Okay, this is where he could throw some buttons, but if he does with me or with like on attack or whatever that he throws out, you could just walk forward and press something. Like you yeah. can also want to dance around. If you want to stick to him, you want to like dance around his normal. Be comfortable to dance on these certain things. Yeah, I think that uh, that change would have made it so I couldn't like run away with the match there. That would have changed a lot. Yeah, I'd have had to think um, about a couple different things. I was surprised that worked. That was a misinput that saved my life. I think Party Barge is trying to rely too much on that forward A to catch people. I think he should probably try just running in closer with a crouch B, or maybe if anything, like run in and do a crouch C. He I'm not, I don't know how that. That fast so good. is on um, crouch C is, but I mean it's something to try because I think forward A is kind of slow. Like she leaps at you pretty quick, but I think the the swing.
Sorry, stream. I'm still here. Just have to handle some shit. Handles. Yeah, I was very timid against uh, Maya, I think. She can be. She's fucking scary with and without me to even like with me. She's even more scary. I think she's just a great, solid, all around character. Yeah, I agree. It just depends how you want to play her. Like, if you if you feel more comfortable playing her with me, just, just give her like second or third position. On point, if you're really good at playing the neutral and being a pesky little bitch, and just play my own point. Yeah. She's really good at that. I do. I do like um, what's it called? Party barge playing Mai though. I don't know. I feel like if he really sticks to Mai, I think it'll be a great character for him. That's yeah. just. I dropped the super there. It ended up sort of working out, but this is where I started getting scared. I was like, oh shit, I'm going to win. Like, like I'm about to win. I need to be careful. Yeah. I'm not even, like, concerning it for a meter. I'm just trying to get damage. And right here, I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm going to fuck it all up. I'm going to fuck it all up. He's got two meters. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I think, like, since you, you, didn't, you didn't have meter or anything, I think that's what Pyrobite should have, like, went for the pressure because, like, even though he got knocked out, he didn't have that much HP, but you didn't have meter. I feel like Party Bar should have took advantage and tried to apply pressure. And yeah, save I was definitely freaking in that moment. If he would have started pressuring me, I don't know if I would have been in the mental state to legitimately defend myself. Like, I would have been wailing on buttons.